Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Vital and let's make some nice rhythmic things that we can really put under our drum grooves to make things sound pretty cool. So let's go to a new preset as always. And for now, let's disable this first oscillator and enable the sampler here. And let's drag this level all the way down. And let's go for LFO one and kind of drag this to the level. So we have something kind of like this. So for this here, let's change our tempo to one bar. So one over one. And then right here, where it says 16. I don't know if yours says eight, but make sure this is 16. And then select our drawing tool and give it some spikes kind of like that. So we have something like this. So we kind of just have like 16th hi-hats pretty much. And this is gonna, gonna be where we draw in some type of rhythm here. So it's gonna just play with things and just see what kind of rhythm comes to mind. Maybe some four here. Now maybe three. Okay, so that's kind of cool right here. So now we can turn off this pencil tool or <laughs> drawing tool, whatever that is, and kind of give it some different curves here for these uh, spikes here. And it makes it a little bit more authentic, I suppose, a little bit more humanistic. So let's kind of play around with those with the drum groove and see how that sounds. Okay, so that's kind of cool for now. So next on, next up, we can go to LFO2 and let's introduce a saw wave here. So let's turn our oscillator on here and let's change this from the init to the basic shapes. And let's go up to a saw wave here. And same for the second one, let's go to init basic shapes and let's go to a square wave. And we're gonna turn this off for now. We're gonna come back to that in just a little bit here. So now we have a basic shape here. Let's turn our level down and use LFO2 and do the same thing here. So here we can go to 16 yet again and then do the same thing with this pencil tool or whatever that is, paintbrush, and kind of just make another rhythm off of that. And change this to one over one. And a cool little thing I like to do as well is going back to eight after we draw drew in all of our shapes and kind of just adding something kind of like that. Maybe at one right here. Something kind of like that here, and then in conjunction with the sampler. And maybe we can go back to 16 and see what this sounds like if we kind of removed a couple one of these. Okay, so that's kind of cool for now, and let's remove this here and kind of add some curves here. So something kind of like that for now. Okay, so now we have both of these kind of different shapes here for our rhythms here. Now for LFO2, let's do the same thing to the second oscillator here, which is going to be the square, and kind of turn this down and turn this all the way up for now, and let's drop the square down one octave and see kind of how close we are. Okay, so there's a little first, further sculpting we need to do. Let's add some unison on this first oscillator here. And let's drag this down all the way here to zero. And let's do the same thing with the noise. So we just have our saw wave that we're hearing right here. And let's turn this all the way up. So this is, this is gonna be kind of our bass volume here. And now we wanna sneak in the other oscillator. And now we can sneak in the white noise or hi-hat or whatever you want to call it.
And since this is kind of a rhythmic thing, let's change our voices to one here and let's dive into the effects after we route some of these things to the filter. Change this to dirty, 24, and then go offset of one, two, and the sampler here. So all of these are going to the filter. And we can do a little bit of cutoff modulation here with LFO3. Let's drag this on here like that. Maybe one over four might be kind of cool. And let's do some full stereo. Okay, so now let's hop into the effects here. And what's kind of nice with something like this is using the multiband compressor. Kind of make it a little bit dirty. And then let's add some distortion here. Let's go to hard clip here and drag, <laughs> drag down the mix. Maybe a little bit of chorus to kind of widen it up and reduce the mix quite a bit. Maybe a little bit less stereo on this. I guess that's up to taste there. Okay, so now we can do a little bit of delay in EQ. So let's do the delay first here and maybe something like a stereo delay. The left hand side can be dotted and the right hand side can be one over eight. It's kind of fine there, bring back our feedback and our mix and EQ this. A little bit of EQ as well down over here. So get rid of that stuff. And raise some of the top end. And a little bit of phaser can go a long way, just not so strong. Let's bring this down here. Maybe change the rates to maybe one bar, see how that sounds. So it's a rhythmic thing, a kind of melodic thing, and we have those nice little phasers kind of doing their own thing. And let's add a little bit of reverb, something like that as well. And then take down the chorus amount, chorus frequency. And for the high, actually, let's increase that a little bit. A little delay, 0 0.20 or 0 0.17, around that area is kind of fine. And then just, I guess, put the mix to taste. And what's cool is something like this as well. If you always want to speed things up, you can always go to the LFOs and change this maybe to half bar for each one of them as well. And then the third one as well, kind of shorten up to eighth. I mean, it's super fast, but just keep in mind, you can change the rate anytime you want to. You can also put those on macros or something like that and kind of do that as well. And yeah. What might be kind of cool as well is adding a third oscillator in here and maybe doing something like a fifth. So let's bring this up to seven semitones here. So this is something where you can keep this in the mix like that. So let's go to three right over here. So you can kind of have that third oscillator kind of just lingering around there a little bit to kind of keep the melodic thing. Or you can bring this down and do the LFO2 as well on something like that. And yeah, increase the volume. Or keep in mind, you can always use LFO1. This kind of doing the same rhythm as the hat for the other oscillator. But yeah, that's kind of the concept of something like that. It's very fun because you can make a whole patch and it kind of just does the whole thing. You have a drum group and kind of do this rhythmic type of thing with a little bit of melodic elements. And you kind of almost have a verse or a chorus or something like that with a drum group and literally <laughs> one button. So 
So let's see, what are we gonna call this one? Maybe something like Rhythmic Love. Rhythmic Love Groove, maybe? That might be too long of a name. So let's just call it Rhythmic Love. So if you wanna get Rhythmic Love, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. But I do highly suggest to kind of recreate this yourself and kind of maybe change some of these shapes here because there's a lot of different possibilities as far as rhythmic stuff can go or something like that. And you can even do something since we have three oscillators, maybe you can make one of them kind of simulate a kick drum. Maybe one of these here, you can make it more so snary and then maybe something else else who knows what and kind of just build a groove out of the different sounds and use these as different kind of things you know kind of look at it how you would put something in a midi sequence or midi page or a piano roll something like that and kind of just use this grid over here and build upon that so maybe your first oscillator and your first lfo could be the kick so it's going to be every four you know four on the floor kind of thing and then the second one maybe a sna hat or a snare make some kind of rhythmic thing and then maybe make like a pulsing bass or something like that there's a lot of possibilities i'm kind of just brainstorming but uh yeah that's the whole concept here for something cool like this. So yeah, if you want to get this one, there's a link in the video description below. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.